What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys. On this week's of edition of, well, this week's edition of, will you sleep or will you keep? Let's ride. First and foremost, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my secondary channel, Too Wild for TV. I've been uploading content over there, and I will be uploading more content over there as we speak. More than likely, the video is already up there now or dropping at the same time as this video. Go and check it out. The link down below is in the description. And go follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Go follow me over on Twitch, man, at Tony D2 Wild. Links are all down below. I go live on there pretty much each and every day. I've been, I've been going, I've been, I've been grinding, guys. I've been grinding. But without further ado, man, let's get to the first release. And that is the Reebok Question Mid. OG meets OG. Releasing September 2nd at a retail price of $150. We talked about this shoe actually as one of the top 10 sneaker releases of September, in my opinion. And that is the OG meets the OG, which is a, a, a celebration of the respect between Allen Iverson and James Harden. As you guys may know, most of y'all at least, uh, Reebok is owned by Adidas. Adidas is the mother company, Reebok is like their subsidiary, kind of like how Nike owns Jordan brand. So that is how this collaboration is able to be even done. And with that being said, you have Allen Iverson, superstar, a GOAT in my opinion, and James Harden, a rising star, well not even rising star, a superstar, my bad James, my bad, superstar, future Hall of Famer, going crazy right now, and uh, you know, there's a celebration of the two. I like these a lot. There's supposedly another colorway coming out in the future. So with that being said, huge shout out to the OG meets OG from Reebok. Releasing on the 4th, Nike is dropping a Air Force One, which is a black tie-dye. These are actually posted now on the sneakers app as we speak. The retail on these will be $120. I think these are pretty dope. You know, a little bit more expensive than your typical low, which is around $90. These are going for $120, but we can see that there's some differences here, and there's more things going on with that black tie-dye effect. So if you guys are into this, you guys like that summer vibe, even though it's near the end of summer in my opinion, definitely check it out, give it a look, something dope to check out and uh, yeah, I like them. One of the more weirder shoes releasing this week on September 4th is the Nike Dunk Disrupt. Now these are dropping in this white and black and also in a gym red colorway. They're also on the sneakers app as we speak. I do not like these. The price point is $110. I, I, I remember, didn't they do these with like the Jordans as well, like a Jordan disrupt or something like that? Um, you don't need to disrupt something like this. Do not disrupt a shoe like that is this classic in my opinion. I guess Nike will just have to see themselves that uh, these just look like tumbleweed, man. Looks like an alligator's neck bone sliced open with cucumber salad, spinach dip alongside with carrots, shredded, bedded, and loved and dubbed. And OJ said he couldn't fit the glove. With that being said, not really a fan of these at all. Coming in also on the fourth, Adidas is dropping a collection, it seems, of Adidas 1.0s of collegiate schools out there. I've seen Miami, Texas A&M, Kentucky, Indiana. I actually like the Indiana one a lot as far as colorways. Tons of different colors of the Adidas 1.0, a classic, classic silhouette and of multiple different colorways out there. Um, not something I would jump, go, go crazy on, but I did like that Indiana colorway, that, that cream and, and red was really nice. There's some cool colors there, but I'm, I'm good on the 1.0s. I actually like the 2.0s more than the 1.0s, and that's just my opinion. 2.0s and, and, and even the 3.0s. After that, it starts getting a little crazy, and before that, they're like too rough for me. But with that being said, I think this is pretty dope. I think this is a nice idea of collections and of colors, and a dope way to put it out with those collegiate colors. So. People on campus can get jiggy with it. You feel what I'm saying? So, shout out to Adidas on that. But later on, Adidas, y'all smoking, man. Y'all smoke some crazy stuff, some crap. News alert, news alert, news alert. So, supposedly, there's word going around that there is going to be a restock on the Yeezy Quantum Basketball, September 5th. Retail $250. Now, I'm guessing this is the basketball version and not the lifestyle version because it's the Yeezy Quantum Basketball. Well, no, there's a lifestyle version and then there's the, is it, isn't there like a lifestyle and then like a basketball? So it's so, something like that. The $250 price point restock. It could be both versions being restocked. I fully do not know. This is just something that's being rumored around on Twitter from Yeezy Mafia. You just type in September 5th, Yeezy Quantum Basketball. It's all over that a restock is supposed to be happening. And this is something that I've been looking for because I've been wanting to get my hands on these for quite some time now. So 
if I can get that to happen, then I'm all for it. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. You guys keep your eyes and ears peeled. I, I need well, I need my ears open, yeah. I need, get, get, get the bees waxed out your ears because if these are restocking, this is definitely gonna be some banger for the week, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got my eyes on something else right now, but I really wanna get my hands on a pair of these already. I, I, I've been waiting too long and it is what it is. It's time, it's time to make this thing happen, you feel me? So be on the lookout. Supposed of restock September 5th on the Yeezy Quantum Basketball. Also releasing on the 5th is the Rude Puma Cell King. Now I talked about this in the top 10 also. This is one of my favorite shoes uh, releasing this month in my opinion. I just like them a lot. I even reached out to Adidas and said, hey guys, can you just see if you can get a pair to me out? You know what I'm saying? Like if I got a cop of my will, but if I can get them early for y'all to look at, I'll definitely do that as well. These are dope. I love the fusion between the cell technology and the Puma King football cleat. The, the collaboration with Rude also just adds a little bit more touch to it. Rude has been a very prominent brand out there. It has that streetwear but high class designer feel as well. I, I honestly don't own any Rude. So I can't speak too much of it. But Rude was not the reason why I liked this model. It was just the shoe itself and the collaboration of the two cell technology and fusion. The, the shoe technology. The collaboration with the brand, it adds the hype to it that people are gonna like more and more, but without even taking it off, I still like it. I still like it. $150, September 5th. As far as the Jordan brand, on the 4th, we have the Jordan 8 Pink Sickle. This is a GS, a uh, women's colorway, GS, and it's a black and pink Jordan 8. Something nice for the ladies out there. I think uh, black and pink is just, it's pretty pretty basic, but it's dope, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I need to ask Nikki if she would like these or not. I don't know if Soul Player is getting them, but I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty easy to get hands on. It's a cool colorway for, for, for some GS shoes. I, I, it's not too much. Like if they would've did all pink with red, black, I mean, that might've been dope too, but you know, sometimes they just overdo it with the colors and stuff. This is a little bit more subtle, a little bit more clean, and I, I, I don't have no problem with it. My favorite shoe release of the week, on the fourth, we have the Biohacks. Retail price point, $170. I told you guys, I'm in love with these. Another one of the top 10 sneakers. Just go check that video out, check the list out, you'll see everything on there. A lot of them are releasing this week, which is kind of crazy, but we have the Jordan 1 Biohack. Now, these are, you know, inspired by Tokyo, by the lights, the neon lights of the city of Tokyo and everything about it. I didn't know that originally when I first saw this colorway, then I learned, I was like, okay, now it makes sense why they just went crazy with it. Cause you got browns, pinks and, and scions and teals and navies and blacks. This shoe is crazy, I love it. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. With that being said, September 4th, keep your eyes open. I personally would, I, I personally think these are gonna do good. If they don't do good, then I, I mean, maybe it's just me, you know? I honestly feel like these are selling out. These are crazy. I, I don't see why they don't sell out. If they don't sell out, then I'm probably just disconnected, you know? And it is what it is. I'm, I'm a disconnected person. But hey, at the end of the day, I like what I like. I don't like because what someone else likes. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm me. So there's shoes that I'm gonna like that, like the root, like those Puma Rouge, and not everybody's gonna like those. That's just me. That's Tony D. That's what that's what I'm, I'm about. I like my own stuff. You feel me? Biohack, great shoe. Another shoe that's been kind of under the cover: the Jordan Seven Greater China, the GC China. I, I didn't know nothing about these shoes until. Last week, I think, Bull actually unboxed them on his channel. I was like, okay, I, what, I didn't know nothing about this shoe at all dropping, you know? Me personally, it's a cool shoe, but I'm kind of over the whole Chinese New Year, China, uh, uh, international, you know, Chinese New Year's been pretty much what they've been doing, or international, you know, shoes and all that. Like, just that whole gimmick. I've been kind of over that. I had the Jordan 6 Chinese New Year's. I had the, I had the Jordan 12. Chinese New Year's, I love those. It's just, you know, after a while, you kind of keep repeat, repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, and it gets kind of, you know, blown out. That's just all it is. I like, like I like things to happen and keep it moving. One reason why with sample, we drop something, we might restock it one time, after that, we keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? We don't keep just flipping and flipping and dipping and dipping, because after a while, it gets worn out, you feel me? So, with that being said, this shoe is nice, retails $200, supposedly. Um, 190, 200 usually, but I think 200 for this one because it's probably gonna come with like a nice box and all that. I think it did come with a nice box after looking at Bull's video. So, with me, it's kind of, I'm, I'm gonna keep my eyes on something else. But these are showing up on the sneakers app right now as we speak. So it is an actual release and Chino is in the building. So next up we have the Yeezy 350 V2 Pepper. 
The retail is two hundred and thirty dollars. The release date, bro. He just licked me like all my damn lips, man. Damn, bro. Let me put you down. September twelfth is the release date, and those actually match you really well, Chino. Like I might need to get you a pair of those. They actually match your color like perfectly. If you guys don't know, pepper does come in two different shades. There's a black pepper and there's also like a white pepper. So I'm guessing this is the white pepper, and these actually look just like Chino. Like it's kind of crazy. They look like them a lot, don't they? Look one more time. Look. He's like creamy. You see how his face is like brown a little bit? You see what I mean? Look. You see the thing? Yeah. They match. They match them really well. I think I said 350s. My bad. 380s. The 380s. I'm big fan of the 380s. Like what they've been doing with it. I support the 380 movement. I support them and I love it. So, um, with that being said, I, I really haven't heard too much about this. And actually, I forgot to mention, guys, we're in the leak age now. We're in the leak side of things. Supposedly, these are coming out on the 12th. And anything in the leak area usually is allegedly some things are confirmed but that's what's being said september 12th is the 380 pepper images have leaked out from i think z sneakerhead of the upcoming jordan 12 reverse flu game december 26th is the supposed release date of this shoe 190 dollars retail and i as far as the pictures goes they're ugly they they look like they look they look horrible I don't know what else to say. They look horrible. They look ugly. And uh, that's that. I need to see more images. I'm not with all that, though. Reverse taxis and stuff, I wasn't all with all that. Reverse taxis to me are just playoffs. Don't why, you know, why, why, why we got to do all this extra stuff? Why? Moving on. But one shoe that I'm really, really excited about that I won't get my hands on is the Titan and Jordan 23. I've been seeing these floating around the net for quite some time. And now we have full in-depth images. This is releasing later on in the year. And this is the Celebrate Titan 22's 10 year anniversary. And also for the love of basketball in the country of the Philippines. Now Titan is a retailer in the Philippines. Titan 22 is the name of the store. And they are collaborating with Jordan Brand. And I think they did really great on these 23's. 23's are definitely an underrated Jordan. You know what I'm saying? After 14, we seem to just fade off into the distance. You feel me? But the 23, for me at least, Stuck with me again. The 23 was something that released, I think, back in, um, I want to say, I remember 23s hitting real hard back in 2007. I remember them in high school. I remember seeing them in high school. I remember I had a fake pair. But I had a fake pair that was a real colorway. The fake pair that I had was a uh, gray and black version. If I can find them, I'll post a picture of them. I got a fake pair from the flea market and your boy was just trying to do his stuff. This the release date was 2008. So it was close, 2007, 2008. I remember seeing them releasing and they were just dope, the thumbprint and everything about it. Even back then though, they were a little weird. It was something weird. It was real futuristic back then. But now looking back, 23s are definitely one of the more underrated AD or after career Jordan shoes, you feel me? Like I like the 30s and all that are pretty cool too, but the 23, Banger. I talked about this shoe leaked up September 19th, the Yeezy 350 V2 Asriel. I talked about that shoe. I like it a lot. It's set to release September 19th, the black, the cream bottom. I love it. The color is, is dope. I like the mixture. The name is getting a lot of controversy due to it being the name of the angel of death in the Islamic faith. Um, I have a lot of friends who are Muslim. I have a lot of friends who, uh, you know, who, I got major love for it in the religion of Islam. I I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I studied it a lot and I almost thought about one time uh, converting to being Islam, but something told me, you know, I'm not gonna get into all that, but I have a lot of respect for Muslims and Islam. You know what I'm saying? Um, did a lot of studying with that. And, and this was all like when I was in high school and stuff. But uh, I can understand, you know, I haven't really asked anybody yet. I don't know if people would honestly care. I didn't really ask. But some people would care, some people wouldn't, you know. I just thought it's kind of crazy though that he would be naming them after that. So I would st uh, steer clear of that, uh, Kanye. Steer clear of that. There's also another Yeezy Quantum Basketball releasing called the Orphanum. So supposedly they had these rumored to be releasing in September. I don't really know, but I can see like this. Is, this, this seems like this this model is going to be somewhat of a problem when it comes to colorways. It seems like a lot of the colorways that are dropping are very close to the original gray but they have like different speckles of different shoes. 
Now, I think the barium was a little bit more olive. It was a little bit more olive, but they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to change it up a little bit more. Otherwise, you're going to be just releasing a whole bunch of monochrome shoes with speckles of a different shoe, which is this. It's, it's going to be, I mean, they're already doing that now, so people people going to eat it up. I don't even know why I'm talking. But with that being said, new Quantum coming out probably in the month of September. We have images of an Air Force One Olympics on Sneaker Bar Detroit. They said summer 2020, but summer's done, I think, this upcoming month, it's, it's September, summer's done. We know the Olympics was supposed to be this year. It getting pushed back till next year, I believe in 2021. Um, so that shoe may drop now, or it might just be pushed back till next year. I, who knows? I actually like these a lot though. That's why I wanted to talk about them. There's a pill feature, rip off, a whole nother, you know, silhouette, a whole nother colorway underneath it. Thought it was pretty dope. Worth talking about Air Force One Olympics. Now, woo! Prada and Adidas are doing a collaboration. I, this is this to show you what a brand can do to a price tag. Adidas is doing a collaboration with Prada. Superstars retail at I think $80. They are Prada and Adidas superstars dropping and these things are retailing for $450. Adidas is smoking dicks. Now, it's not really their fault at the same time. I love Adidas, man. I love Adidas. They love me. So I hate to even say that, Adidas. But just look, man. You know, I, I'm, just take it from me. You know what I'm saying? But I understand you're doing something with Prada. Prada is going to charge that Prada price. Let me read off to you, though, what's on the site. Limited to 700 pairs made. So here's the price increase. The Prada and Adidas Superstar and Bowling Bag will release on December 4th at select Prada stores. Prada.com and Adidas.com, the entire bundle will retail at $3,170 for a Prada bag. Is this a bowling ball coming, that damn thing? Because I need a bowling ball. Oh, superstar in a bowling ball. Okay. This is, I, I guess the bag comes to, I need I need all of it. Prada and Adidas, Prada and Adidas Superstar Plus bag bundle, yeah, $3,170. And then, like I said, you want to get the just the shoes themselves 450 your basic superstars with a Prada name on the side like bruh Jesus Christ hey man it, it ain't tricking if you got it brother it ain't tricking if you got it man that's all I got to say man if you hey if you got it get it you feel me but geez Louise these are this is insane I mean Dior's bad too don't get me wrong Dior's just as bad D Dior might be worse because that's 2000. Yeah, Dior's are worse. So this is this is this is Adidas Dior. Yeah. Last but not least, the women's Jordan Six Smoke Gray Retail 190 September 24th, releasing this month. We get some in-hand images of the upcoming shoe. They look nice. That's mostly what I can say. I don't know if it's something I would keep. It's definitely something I would give re review worthy. Um, one thing I did notice about the shoe though, it doesn't seem like it's see-through. It seems like there's plastic. And then there's the inner liner of the shoe that's black. So you don't see sock in there. It's going to be some type of material. I could be wrong. But from the images that I'm seeing right now, it seems like there's like a material there. So there's not like a sock. Um, with that being said, that kind of takes away the fun of what I thought the shoe was going to be. But I don't think it should dictate whether or not you cop it. If you liked them before, you should like them now. But uh, for me, it's, I, 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 I don't know. I got to wait and see these in hand, man. I need to see these in hand and go from there. I want to see if they are clear or not, but from the images, it looks like it from the images, from just looking at this little picture, the images, it looks like there's a material underneath the shoe, like underneath the plastic, it's not like sock. so yeah. But be on the lookout, more images of those coming soon, I'm pretty sure. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I love you guys, thank you for the continuous love and support as always. And make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Hit on the post notification bells. Stay tuned. Go check out the secondary channel. And I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Video dropping tomorrow for sure as well. We going full throttle this week. Let's get it, man. It's your boy Tony D2Wild. Checking in. Checking out. Peace.